Boom, boom, boom. Hey yo. Do, 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 do. Welcome back to Keep, Keep it. it Over Raps. Uh, it's free Johanse again. It's free Johanse till I die. Um, free Johanse till his back hurts, man. Till his back hurts. Oh, We're reviewing um, The Peace Fly God by Westside Gun. Shouts out Griselda. Um, Cheer. So, would our Westside Gun stand like to be in? Yeah. Um, look. At first, I'm going to be honest. I did not like this album. You know why? Because I was like just, I was getting ready to go out. I was going somewhere, getting out the shower. I had this album playing. I listened to the first three songs. And I'm just like, damn, man, this shit is long as fuck. And I just stopped playing it. I listened that to that first song. I, I listened to the to other shit. Like I listened to other shit. I think Brent had already dropped by then. And I was just listening to to Brent and shit. And I, I ended up coming back to it and finishing the project today. Like I, I got home from work at like six fifteen, six thirty ish. And I'm just sitting in my car playing this shit with like speakers going kind of bumping this shit. I'm like, damn, yeah, this shit's live. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, like, actually giving it a listen through and, like, I, I feel what Yohase was saying yesterday, we, or not yesterday, but Tuesday. It was like, it's different, but it, like, it feels home and unique to what's I've done, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it still feels representative of his style. And I can appreciate that, bro, because it's like, this is the type of music that, like, it can be reproduced so much at such a high quantity and it'll, it'll still be enjoyable, bro. Like, my But it also album. never sound like Westside Gun. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Mahami does the same shit, but he, you know, he has, like, more or less the same sound, but he makes it, like, so different on every album, and, like, yeah. talks about different shit, has different themes to it, so. You said that you felt like it sounded like more of the West Side Gun type of shit, right? It did. I do think it sounds a lot like other West Side Gun projects, which, like, I don't dislike West Side Gun, so it's not like I didn't like the album. It just it just sounds like more like it just sounds like another West Side Gun project. It sounds more like West Side Gun. This is way better than the Boldy project, bro. Uh, I don't know about so say way I like with that many Y's and way, way yo yo get the I don't fuck think, out I of here. Think we didn't get to review the Boldy James project, but I yes we did. No, we didn't. Yes we did. We did, but like we had to re-record it. And we were just like fuck it. Yeah, remember? Oh uh, yeah, because that show was buns. That's uh, why. The Booty James project was that shit was booty cheeks, fam. I think it's more so down to like the mixing and mastering. Like this shit sounds really rough. It sounds gritty, bro. But it sounds like ah, it doesn't sound very good when you turn it all the way up. It sounds yeah, nah. You got yeah. in my car and I was playing it and I was like, I was just like, bro, like it's I not, wasn't like I wasn't like oh thank God this is like an opportunity for me to turn this shit off. But like I had to turn the volume down and I was like, alright. It's not I like can live like this. Yeah, it's not like gritty in the same sense of like Supreme Blind Tell gritty, wherein like it just sounds like gutter. This shit just sounds unfinished. Like it doesn't sound yeah, polished. There's like a diff- like I think the gritty you're referring to on Su- Supreme Blind Tell is like in the lyrics and the production. But like this is gritty sounding literally yeah. just because it sounds gritty. Like, yeah. Which I think, yeah, I think it, like I think that, that might have affected a little bit of like how much I enjoyed it. Which I do really like this. I do really like most of the project. I like songs four through nine was like my favorite run of the album. Big ass bracelet. Was Big ass bracelet man. is easily one of my favorite West Side Gun songs. Uh, that shit is great. Who that but, man in the big ass yeah, bracelet? Shit, it was like weird because like SD Nack and Stove Got Cooks take up most of the project. And per- personally, I-, I really like Stove Got Cooks, but I've never heard of SD Nack before this. And it's not like SD Nack did like some shit that I was like, I've been listening like, to oh, SD Nack on. now. Hold yeah. On. Hold on. Like, SD Nack has a whole <laughs> song by himself on this album. It's uh, Jesus Crack, right? No, nah, it's uh, Bobby Roode. Jesus Crack was too long. Jesus Crack was too long. Let me just that get was, that out of the way. For being just a sample, song, it wasn't bad. It was just for being one sample repeated over and over, it didn't need to be seven minutes long. I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I got but, tired of it. I was on the way here. I got tired of it. Uh, after no pun like, intended. Oh, man. I got tired of that song after like two and a half minutes. Yeah, but... Oh, um, Bobby Roode was tough. Bobby Roode is a good song, It's just, but it's just SD Knack. Like, there's no one else on it. So, uh, I did really like the I did like the project, but I, I, this wouldn't be like one of my favorite West Side Gun projects. Like, I definitely like... The three Hitler words Hermes I've heard, I definitely like it better than this. I feel like one of you guys said that this was like a 
a precursor to the album he's yeah. actually gonna drop. He said it's a precursor to Michelle Records, which is definitely what I want to hear. I do want to hear Michelle Records. But, but you know, seeing that like this is just a precursor for him, and I mean, granted, you do have the misgivings about the mixing and mastering of this, but like, I don't know. I think, I think that he has a, a really good ear for music. Just production wise, yeah. You know, he than, knows what beats he sounds great on. I think he has. If if Boldy James wasn't in Griselda, he would have the best beats out of every Griselda artist. I feel like West Side Gun. Yeah, and um, apparently one of y'all told me this too is that he's a producer himself. I didn't know that shit. Yeah, I did not know I that know shit. That you said that, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, he is. I, I didn't know that, but I think he is. Fired, he is. I seen someone talking about it on Twitter. Did y'all peep on? I think it's from Derek Bowman. The cursing passer at the end of the song is the same one from Bandana by Freddie Gibbs. Because they're on Derek Bowman, like there's a sk- you know how the songs have skits at the end? Mm-hmm. There's the cursing passer at the end of Derek Bowman. It's the same one from Bandana by Freddie Gibbs because both of the songs are produced by Mad Lib. Damn word. Yeah. That's crazy. I peeped that like I once. did not realize that. Dude. Yeah. But um, like I said, I do like the project. I think like the, the songs I didn't like was Jesus Christ because I, I thought it was too long. Riz Barlton was like okay, and then the last song was like basically just a sample over a beat. It wasn't really like flip versus Phil. Yeah, it was just it was just a sample over a beat, so it wasn't really anyone rapping. But the rest of the project, like the the core songs on the project, I did really like. Yeah. But like I said, I, I think I would just. There's a bit of irony in the fact that like you're such a West Side Gun fan. Cause like the shit, the points you were making about West Side Gun is like the points he'll make when we're talking about Pusha T, which is like, oh, you know, they got the same sound, but they could change it so, so often through each project that it doesn't sound the same, you know. And like, do you think that? Do you know. think West Side Gun song albums sound different from each other? Because I'm of nuance between. Yeah. Like I said, they're, it's it, he has the kind of sound that you can reproduce and and not get repetitive, in my opinion. But. Well, Pusha T is like, for the longest time too, Pusha T was just like, producing the same, at least to me, again, my opinion, producing the same song over and over and over again. It's like, bro. That's funny because that's literally how I feel about West Side Gun. Which like, I, I like West Side Gun. It's not like, it's not like it's like, oh, the same song again. It's like, the oh, thing, okay, the same song. Pusha T was never an artist that like, I listened to Pusha T, but he was never an artist that I would go out of my way to listen to a whole project from. Like, if he dropped, he dropped. Like, the only time I ever really tuned into a Push the T project, for real, for real, was It's Almost Trying, because we had to do a review for it. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. I and think I, the I, difference... I was, I was ple- pleasantly surprised. I think the difference between the two as artists is, like, the way you feel about West Side Gun's production. West Side Gun's projects are different from each other in terms of, like, nuance. Whereas, like, Push the T, like, he might have projects that, like, sound drastically different yeah. from each other as a whole. Like... Because my name is my name doesn't sound like Daytona. And doesn't Daytona sound like doesn't sound like dry. it's almost dry. Yeah. And what was the other one that he dropped? Uh, in Darkest Before Dawn. Yeah. That one doesn't sound like either. Any of those other yeah. three, you know? And so, like, I think that's a bit, like, I think they I, both are kind of in the same situation. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely within the same road because, yeah. yeah, they both are co grappers By the way, like, Westlake Gun, I think, has, like, my he might be one of my favorite punchline rappers bro the shit that he says sometimes is so outlandish i don't i think it might have been on Derek bowman where he was like rest in peace to virgil rest in peace to dolph uh and then he said like either like fuck me up or something like that and rest in peace to your moms <laughs> like, like he just says random stuff that is like hilarious but like it's also like gritty like He's super creative with the way he rhymes, I do think. I think that's Westside West Gun's charisma is like the thing that attracts me most to Westside Gun. I think Westside Gun is a very unique personality. Yeah. But I wouldn't say that I like think like a Westside Gun project has been like amazing since Pray for Paris. And that was 2020, dang. Yeah. Which like again, the other projects are good. When I say amazing, I mean like 2020 was a great year for coke rappers, I feel like. It was. Freddie Gibbs, Boldie James, and West Side Gun. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, are you trying to touch me, bro, now? Bro, I'm here minding minds, bro. Get the hell off me, bro. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it's just more West Side Gun. I don't... I, I liked it, though, man. Like, this is gonna, this is definitely going to be one of those albums that I'm going to put on when I go to the gym after this. Pump some iron. You going to play this? You play West Side Gun, like, while working out? You know, it's not ever too slow or anything? 
when I when I work out, bro, I get like I be I be mean looking, bro. Looking at it how I look at it, if it is truly just a preview to what he has to come, like it's like I said before, I like what I'm expecting out of the next project because I don't know. I feel like you can say this about anyone in Griselda that like. We kind of said it when we were referring to um, Tanatal 4. When we were reviewing that, I think you might have been the one to make the point that they might oversaturate sometimes with projects. Mm. And sometimes, I mean, that's probably how I feel about this. That's probably something factoring into my opinion on it, but... When's the last time you listened to a West Side Gun project, though? In full? In full, like, or... Like straight through, or just like a song? No, I listen to West Side Gun pretty much. Yeah, I listen to... Almost, like, at least a song... Like every day, probably maybe every two days. Just about. If I'm not listening to a song of his, he might be a feature on it. Just cause like I literally, I don't, I don't do, I do playlists, but I don't play my playlist. Like if I'm driving, I literally just click shuffle. I think probably my favorite Westside Gun song is like 327. If I had to pick one. That's a good. That's a good choice. Even though like Griselda and in general and individually might oversaturate, you can tell that like even with projects that are not as significant in their catalog they still take their bodies of work seriously they still have some minimum level of attention to detail that like other artists in general lack and it's crazy this shit was recorded in like two days mm-hmm. yeah which he just hopped in the studio with Ste- with still got an sd and what um pumped it out what are you guys giving it out of 10 uh like a 6.8 I was just gonna be around there too. I was gonna say six nine. Yeah, like it's, I said, it's not. I don't think it's, it's like not a, it's not a it's major West Side Gun. The project. occasion. Yeah. The occasion. He gave, he gave some new music. Yeah, just some songs to hold over until music. Michelle Records, I think. And yeah. I think I think also like what you were saying about the quantity of how much they drop. I think that's down to their age, because West Side Conway's forty. West Side Gun turns forty this month. I'm pretty sure, and. I think Benny's like 38. He's like around. Damn, so you I saying think, that them boys don't got nothing better to do? <laughs> no, I think they're just, they're like trying to get it. Because like obviously past a certain age, like you're out of your prime. Like mm-hmm. I feel like you fought. I saw this in, a, I think, Andre 2000 interview where he was like part of you hip hop. No yeah, part of hip hop is being hip. Like you kind of have to be young to really master the thing. Which is why like I think Outkast didn't release another album after they were like 30. So like. I think they're trying to get as much shit as they can out of the time that they have in hip hop because mm-hmm. after I mean how many rappers are really super popular still after 40 I think like the only one I can think of is like Yeezy, Jay Ho and Push Push yeah and Freddie Gibbs is getting there yeah Freddie Gibbs just turned 40 so Cole will probably yeah, get there yeah so that's what I'm saying like it's not there's not many rappers who really keep the longevity past 40 so I think that's why they like Overset and really like no one else is doing the sound. Yeah. The the Griselda sound like they came out That's and that was the sound their that benefit, they. Though, yeah. Like uh, the point on age is like I don't want to call it redundant, but like they kind of hit their prime late as is. Yeah. They weren't. It wasn't like they was like twenty eight and like came thriving out. and shit. Favorite tracks. The four um, skates. The four skates. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three. Because it's actually a song on it. Yeah, that makes sense. Big ass bracelet, Bobby Brood, and open praise. Damn, that was hard. Open praise was hard. Open praise is in my top three. If I had to make a top three, it would be open praise, horses on sunset, and I guess big ass bracelet. Dead ass, I'd be looking at your screen like, what the hell are you reading? And I forget you have that privacy, man. Yeah. I feel like, bro, you looking at a black screen right now? Um, <laughs> give me big ass, give me big ass bracelet, Derek Bowman, and horses on sunset. Although, shout out to Dan Housen. That's on the card too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Dan Housen. Um, this is our review. Uh, uh, Peace, Fly God, by none other than the Fly God himself, Westside Gun. Um. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that project later this year. Looking Michelle forward to Records. Michelle Records, yeah. Bro, he's had pictures with like Rocky and Tyler in the studio. I know Tyler and Rocky ain't gonna be on that shit. They never do features, even if they're like, like they've not, they no, barely Tyler, do features Tyler's been on West Side Gun projects. He might, he might be, One, he might two. have been. In other words, Hermes Eight and mm-hmm. Pray for Paris. But I don't know. I don't think like Ty, them niggas be very particular about the features that they do put out. If I get a gun and Rocky feature, I will nut. Thank you for watching. Keep it over wraps. 
If you're interested in all the things rap, subscribe and share. Thank you for viewing the video. If you got this far, be sure to like and comment. Be sure to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more coming soon.